All right, Indy Grand, um, going to handicap races one through nine. Race 10 is a quarter horse race, if you don't know me, Dave May. I'm the creator of at Thoroughstat on Twitter. Um, been running that for 12 years. Uh, been part of the NHC tour now for three to four seasons. Um, and now uploading content on how I use Stats Race Lens to handicap, um, save you some time. Um, you know, typically when you got to handicap 100 races a day, you need some quick ways to kind of dive in and find some value. So um, hopefully you find these videos helpful. Uh, follow us at Thoroughstat on Twitter, uh, at Thoroughstat on YouTube, and subscribe for more individual race and full card analysis. I uh, want to start doing some live uh, live streams as well. Um, but I give a top four. Play the top pick to win in place. Play, honestly, however you traditionally play. Uh, just use me as a way to find additional value uh, to play how you you play your existing tickets. Uh, top four I give out. Uh, I typically play as an exacta and a top four trifecta. And then uh, if you play pick fours, pick fives, let me know if you need me to help uh, construct tickets and put videos out on that. Uh, I typically play rolling pick threes on big days. I'm going to dive right in. Uh, we got an eight horse field here, Indy Grand race one, six furlongs, uh, five has some early speed, one has more speed. So I'm going to go one over the five, four, and three. One my top pick, uh, Mickey O'Prado uh, in race one. Race two, uh, a maiden special, uh, eight furlongs mile on the main track. A lot of these horses... Are probably stretching out for the first time which is why there's not much late speed here so we're gonna dive in i'm gonna give a top three only because there's five horses it looks like now uh second time lasik second time starter uh two is squeezed and was still closing three off a long layoff or a, a longer layoff multiple times running uh the Four is stretching out a bit. The five spun oats off a longer layoff, trainer switch, turf to dirt. A lot of different things going on. Blinkers on. Um, and then the six here, second time LASIK, second time starter, bullet work. So I'm going to go with the top three. And I'm going to go... Two, five, six. I'm gonna pop back over here and look in different order. Five is gonna be five to one, six, two. Let's see if there's anything that stands out on why the two. The two was squeezed. Second time starter, same jockey. Six off a layoff. Five dropping in class off a layoff. Also, I'm gonna go two. Five and six here. Race two at Indy Grand. Again, top three since there's only five horses. Two, Fleur. Five, Spun Oats. Six, Active Lane. Two, five, six, race two. Race three. Mile allowance optional claiming. Four seems to have some early, yeah, early speed here. Slows down a bit. Has a run. Run 103.8 early. I'm going to say the five runs down the four here. I like the five on top. Trash talk. Trash talk and Yankee over the four. Transect over the six. Beaver Hat, which should be the favorite, over the three, Honorable One. So we're going to go five, four, six, and three. Again, par, uh, Horseshoe, Indianapolis, Indy Grand, uh, whatever you call it now, uh, and however you call it. Uh, race three, five, four, six, and three. Race four, six furlongs, allowance, main track. Got some... Seems to be some mid to late speed here. I'm going to go only because I'm playing an NHC tournament today. I'm going to try to beat some favorites. 
seven seems to be a morning line favorite. I'm going to go one Azaro Steel over the five Manuelito over the seven New Year's Fever over the three Ferdon. Ferdon has that mid speed here. The four may close into it. Um, but I like one, five, seven, and three. I'm going to play the one and five in a in a tournament uh, for NHC to feed into Friday. Race five, turf race. We got ten horses here claiming seven and a half furlongs. I'm going to dive into the PPs as you've seen previously. Uh, I look for some value in pedigrees on the turf here. So I'm going to start looking on the dam side. Gigahertz. All right, the eight, eight fast bite. I'll I'll pop back and show you why. Uh, surprising to me, the horse is in a claiming race. Fast bite. The mare. <laughs> I know it's only two, two starters, two horses, two starters. Um, but the median win dollars is forty four dollars and sixty cents. It's out of a Dynaformer mare gigahertz. Been off a layoff. I'm going to take the eight on top. We're going to pop back over to the true odds, though, and see what's happening here. The eight's a morning line, six to one. Uh, 76 is the track. I'm going to go eight over 10, Fierce Assault, over the two, Ponte Pride, over the three, El Rocio. Eight, Fast Bite. Over the 10, over the 2, over the 3. And I'm actually going to probably play this pick 4, uh, depending on scratches, uh, which starts, I believe, race 2. Yeah, race 2 through 5. That should wrap out the, the early pick 4 there. Race 6. We have a mile claiming event on the main track. The one has some early speed here. I'm going to go with the four. I'm playing a tournament, as I mentioned. Uh, the four on top, Indocumentado, over the one, Rockwood, just because of the mid and early kind of speed there. Over the three, Benny's Legacy, over the eight, Unbridled Victor. Race six, I like the four, one, three, and eight. Again, I know I'm popping between screens here. Indy Grand, Horseshoe Indianapolis, race six, four, morning line, five to one, uh, Indocumentado over the one, over the three, Benny's Legacy over the eight, Unbridled Victor, race six, four, three, four, one, eight, and three. Sorry, four, one, three, and eight. Race seven, back on the turf. Mile, eight furlongs, allowance race. Looks like 11 horses. I'm going to dive back in and see if we can find some value. Uh, we were lucky enough to find a mare that I liked out of a, a dam sire that I liked, but also had some ROI there. Let's pop in and look at these other horses. Sometimes when it's 11 horses or more, stats takes a minute to load. I use stats race lens uh, to handicap these races. Looking at the dam sires here. Uh, anything that I've got flagged um, as a dam that I look for will also circle itself um, if they've run before. Uh, you can add dam angles, you can add dam sire angles into stats. That's why I use it because uh, it helps me look through hundreds of horses for tens and dozens of races on a, a busy day at NHC uh, in Vegas. So, uh, all right. Uh, a sire stood out, not a damn sire. Uh, Temple City stood out to me, this, this 11 here. I'm actually, unless this, unless this one has blazing speed, it's the favorite. Let's beat it. Uh, I like Swift Temple on top, the 11. 
uh, underneath. I also like the, let's see if the five has some speed here, the five and the four. So let's go 11. Let's look at the four and the fives. Um, Dam's progeny as well as some trainer angles here to see if we can get some value. Uh, I may use the one as a backup on my second entry for NHC, uh, the feeder for Friday, unless, yeah, we're gonna do the five. Uh, the five has had eight starters, 25% win percentage. The win also 25% in the money, but 310, 310% ROI off of a long layoff. We're going to hopefully see this five hang on a bit. Uh, so we're going to go 11 Swift Temple over the five Chinatown Nancy over the one Stormy Wager over the four Chelsea Strength. Some wild stuff happens at Indy Grand on the turf here. 11, our top pick out of Temple City, also a Dynaformer Sire over the five over the one over the four here at Indy Grand. All right, Indy Grand, race eight, six furlong maiden special. We've got the two. Pretty consistent throughout. This nine, I believe, is a first time starter. Let's take a peek. Yep, first time starter. Five out of 25, gate work. First time lay six. For Ray Hernandez, not too good, but uh, Marcelino Pedroza has been running pretty well, 32% last 10 days, and a positive ROI. Has a bullet buried back here about a month ago. Uh, so I'm going to use the 9, just because uh, in races like this, I think first-time starters do show up. So uh, we're going to do 2... Nikki MP over the nine party never ends over the eight king making over the one wicked beautiful top pick race eight two nine eight and one I'm going to definitely be using the nine in the NHC feeder today and the last race should be a turf race it's scratched down a bit let me just confirm those scratches because I didn't see any earlier unless they planned on uh, some rain which I typically get here uh, it's a maiden special five for a long turf none of these horses have any class and speed we're gonna go digging yeah I didn't think there was that many horses scratched Sometimes stats has a little wonky loading. Let me just confirm in. There are actually that many scratches. One, five, six, eight, and nine are left. Yep. All right. So the one's definitely not going to be a morning line 20 to one anymore. The five is left in here. Twirling candy. Tons of uh, IRADs shipping in. To ride for Wesley Ward. Horse was a $175,000 yearling purchase in 22. V6, Oscar performance. Got a positive ROI as a two year old sire. Slightly positive ROI. Turf, definitely positive on. First time starters, so we like the six here a bit, I think. Dam has had some decent in the money uh, on this eight. There's only five horses in this race. I don't feel comfortable giving a, a top four and leaving one out. Um, let's look at the nine real quick. Don't like the nine. 
the six sire line intrigues me the one the one's bullet work at Keeneland intrigues me a bit but it's a one of one hasn't done much here decent out of the gate if I were to do a four I would do one uh, mixed in there I like it's hard to go against Wesley Ward with with these types of horses, especially the the caliber of sprinters on the turf he's putting into uh, top races, uh, especially young horses. The two-year-old, um, he's a lot of young horses running well in the Breeders' Cup on the turf and turf sprints. Irad's coming in, so that's a good sign. I want to try to beat it for value. I like the six out of Oscar performance, 97% ROI, 40% in the money, first time sire. Same for two year olds, as well as the eight here. Uh, this eight has had 14% winners. Decent, decent work here. Dam is a, a winning all surface dam. And done well with first time starters, eight in the money out of 21 starts out of five horses so uh, I'm just gonna assume Wesley's horse is gonna be a little green today I'm gonna go eight over six over five uh, only because I'm trying to look for value as well in my NHC tournament so we're gonna do We're going to do uh, 8, 6, and 5. There's our top 9, uh, top selections for all 9 thoroughbred races at Indy Grand. Once again, uh, if you like this video, uh, subscribe to YouTube for full card analyses. Also, um, subscribe, as I mentioned, on YouTube, at Thoroughstat. Follow us on Twitter, at Thoroughstat. I'm going to be playing Indy Grand. We posted uh, some videos for Parks as well today. I'm going to be playing Indy Grand and Parks in the NHC feeder for Friday. Uh, Friday that we normally have uh, four, 400 plus people trying to qualify for NHC Vegas. So good luck today if you play. I'm going to play these early and late pick fours. Um, definitely think some values to be had here on the turf, especially in this uh, two-year-old event. Uh, good luck today. Follow along, um, play along if you can, uh, play them how you normally play them, and uh, come back for some, some more breakdowns, uh, single race as well as full card analysis, and have a good day.